If we're to enter Numenon's restricted archives with a minimum of fuss, then we must secure the permission of the forum. Oh, great. First, however, we shall need to enlist the cooperation of a member to approach the battle on our behalf. Who do you think might be inclined to assist us? Well, um... No, the, the professor guy, who's like our, our one friend. Yes, uh, Montechain. Montechange? Montechain? I think it's Montechange. What a scholar Montechange. He did come to Graha's defense during the inquiry, after all. To set it, let us head to Phenomenon and see if he's willing to help us once more. Oh. Cool! Appreciate the chance- I pre- Ugh. I apprenticed to Master Matoya at the age of seven and labored under her tutelage for a full decade. Ow. I never had a chance to attend the studio. Neither did Thinkrit, as I recall. Soon after Master Luiswa took him in off the streets, he was put in the care of another Archon. His was a rigorous and practical education in the arts of espionage and survival. I sometimes wonder what my life might have been like had I pursued studies here instead. <laughs> Tea at the last stand after a day of lectures. Oh, that does sound lovely. Afternoons with friends, spent sipping tea and debating theories. Still, I wouldn't give up my time with Master Matoya for the world. The dang cave I studied in was about as far from the bright, airy halls of academia as one should get, but it was a wondrous, magical childhood nonetheless. Fun, and do you just have normal? Darling? If I was pressed to name our allies in the forum, Scholar Monster Change would certainly be at the top of the list. Hopefully agrees to aid us with our request. Ah, visitors! And quite esteemed ones at that. What may I do for you? I realize I just peaked my mic really badly, and I apologize. I'll have to make sure I fix that. Pray forgive the intrusions, Scholar, but we were hoping you might help us secure permission to enter Numenon's restricted archives. Oh-ho, no further forays into the stack this time, eh? apply this newfound sense of propriety. Yet in all this wide world of com comparative serenity, why so compels you to disturb a vault of forbidden wisdom? Fascinating. I had no idea such a technique existed. I would have... I would have been surprised if you had. If my assumption is correct, the research left behind by House Demir has lain dormant in Charlian's archives for many centuries. And if you unearth this research, what then? Surely you don't intend to cross over into the void. That is, in fact, precisely what, what we intend. To what end, Preto? To develop a method of traversing the rift for one, one that I might keep my word to a distant friend. Sentiment aside, I have journeyed to the end of existence. I have heard, felt, and thought endlessly about the truth of our world and the echo of its future, and yet I want to understand everything to unravel it all down to its very last secret. What scholar worthy of the name wouldn't force open a void gate or two if a grand revelation was a promised reward? Ha ha ha, marvelous! An audacious proposal worthy of Master Matoya herself. And after hearing the whys and the wherefores, I, for one, do not believe you would use the knowledge for ill. I see no reason not to present you with your request of the forum for the forum's consideration. Although your petition would be better received if you also had the support of another well-placed acquaintance. Gotta go talk to Fortune now. Why, Master Fortuno, of course. He can hardly ignore an earnest request from his dear children's most treasured comrades. I was hesitant to approach him directly, but there's no denying that having a Master Fortuno on our side would tip the balance in our favor. Very well, we shall pay a visit to Levier Estate and plead our case. Ah, one last thing before you go. I would consider it a personal favor if you might share with me the discoveries you make in the void. My appetite for knowledge is every bit as insatiable as yours, I'd wager, so if you could see your way to indulging an old man's curiosity. Of course, Skullark. We will be sure to pass on any revelations. 
He's nice. Ah, Mr. Stella, Mr. Stola, how may I be of service? Coming to speak with Master Fortuno. Is he home by any chance? Yes, the master is in the residence. I shall inform him that he has guests. Well, well. The Malians would invite you inside for tea, but I assume this is not a social visit. You have some matter of, of import to discuss. Then pray proceed. You have my full attention. Man, it's nice to have him not be, uh, uh, an enemy. <laughs> well, I suppose I should praise you for following the proper protocols this time around. Scarlet Montechange expressed much the same sentiment, I assure you. I assure you, will not attempt to circumvent the forum's authority again, unless it is absolutely necessary, of course. Of course. You do understand that the restricted archives are restricted for good reason, yes? If no press pressing need exists, then why risk the consequence of employing this forbidden knowledge? For a, for a brother who misses his sister, she was his guardian and his friend, a selfless hero who crossed the rift between worlds to save her homeland from horror and suffering. But the brother has given up on thoughts of reunion. He spends his effort elsewhere, watching over a people yet healing from the flames of the final days, loyal to his duty while betraying the longing in his heart. Tis no vital mission, perhaps, reuniting these siblings, but it feels a worthy cause to pursue all the same. Oh, she's, she's playing the siblings thing. She's, she's trying to get his, his favor as a dad. Man, she is really good at this. As one who feared losing his own loved ones and spent years in research to prevent it, surely you appreciate how painful such a separation must be. Reflections are still very much a mystery to us. Offering to share your experience in the first should constitute a fair exchange for our cooperation. I'm sure. That sounds easy enough. Not celebrate just yet, the forum st must still be convinced. We'll add your request to the list of today's deliberations and deliver the decision to you at the Baldelsian Annex. Off he goes. Oh, they're both here. So, what did the forum decide? To put it bluntly, Master Matoria has burned some bridges here in Charlian, and salted the earth for good measure. When it became clear that her student was a petitioner in question, well, no few members voiced discontent. Are they really that petty? They're that they're petty enough that they would give up like valuable research because the master of a per like like this the teacher of a person is oh, great. Then the chamber was reminded, in no uncertain terms, I might add, of the incredible debt we owe you and your companions. That served to silence the grumbles and st stiffen a few spines, and it was agreed that allowing you entry to the archives was the least we could do in return. Tis wonder that is wonderful news. Thank you both for speaking on our behalf. Yes, well, as I am sure you are aware, this permission was not extended lightly. Forbidden knowledge is to be treated with the utmost caution, and there will be repercussions if it is not. Wish you well in your endeavor, and bid you good day. The Grouch. Ever the same, that one. Uncompromising? Aye. But that very stoicism is exactly what Charlie needed to guide it through not one, but two exoduses. He tries his best. Can't fault him for that. It is really funny to see all the people around wearing the exact same outfit. That went rather well, I think. As a child, I dreamed up any number of schemes for getting my hands on those forbidden tomes, and now I can simply walk in through the door. 
Our focus will be on finding House Demir's research notes, of course, but thought of so much knowledge at my disposal has me feeling a little giddy. Let's set as soon as you're ready. Oh, I'm, I get to go too? Sick. Oh, great. Materia that I'm not gonna use. Oh, just go for spells. Oops. Mm, uh, spell speed, probably. Child. Alright. We'll be heading directly to the archives from here, I presume. You presume correctly. Then you'll want to speak with the index page when you arrive. It's been instructed to grant you access to the restriction section. Excellent. Once again, we thank you for all your help. Oh, it was my pleasure. Believe me, may you find the knowledge you seek. No, excuse me. Shall we? Stroll's now accompanying you. Some extra dialogue. To think the set of instructions I laughingly imagine may actually exist. I laughingly imagine may actually exist, but yawns away from where you found me napping. If I had known of Alzadal III's exploit sooner, I could have saved myself days of research. Even a children's book might have pointed me in the right direction. To achieve the impossible, one must needs be flexible of mind and look beyond conventional wisdom, a lesson I had already learned, but clearly not taken to heart. I mean, you never know what you're going to find. Archon Ishtola and guests identified. Do you wish to proceed into the restricted archives? Follow me if you would. Watch your step and please note that the use of naked flames is discouraged. <laughs> oh. Why are they? Why is it like a dungeon intro? If House Damia's notes are to be found anywhere, it will be here. Let us begin. use of this music makes a lot of sense i am really glad that they that they included all of this this room because they showed it off in the like the cinematic open uh, like video at for, for endwalk the trailer uh and i was wondering if we'd ever get to come down here since you see graha down here no smoking no throwing books and no yelling out eureka in an obnoxiously loud voice <laughs> So many books I've yet to read. Uh, yes, yes, we're here for one specific volume. You needn't remind me. Untitled Goldsmith's Journal. Today, in a world not my own, I met the most beautiful void-born creature. She was so unlike her ravenous brethren, eyes blazing not with hunger, but trembling like a candle's flame, threatening to flick out any moment. I wonder if she is even the proper word. Such distinctions seem inconsequential, insignificant even. All that matters is the love I feel for this exquisite, transcendent being. Interesting. So someone ended up in the void and a goldsmith of all people. Primal disqu disquisitions. In the year 1564 of the Sixth Astral Era, the Amalja summoned Ifrit, their patron god. Accounts describe the being as a gigantic lizard-like being with a po potent command of fire aspects and magics. If we consider that primal summoning is an act fueled by faith and prayer, it is unsurprising, if not expected, that the resulting deiform entity should manifest the appearance and powers with which it, it is attributed by its worshippers. What then might emerge from the same ether, from the same ether should one who believes in an almighty omniscient attempt, omniscience attempt the same ritual? Would the scholar himself grace us with his presence, some other embodiment of divine sagacity? Could this man-made god truly be all-knowing, and if it were, whence would such knowledge arise? I myself have many questions concerning the nature of the ancient world, 
with no spell to transport me back in the days of old. Ha ha ha. Could I instead summon a being possessed of encyclopedic wisdom of every age? Yet with no means to verify its pronouncements, how could one be certain they were true? Your mind spins with the possibilities discussed her in. This does not seem to be the volume you are seeking. I'm pretty sure it... I don't think it works like that. I don't think you can just summon a primal that knows everything. Um, I'm pretty sure there are pretty big limits, and it would be constrained by your own beliefs. So there would pretty much just be truths that you wanted to be true. Okay, this is probably this is definitely the book we're looking for. Yes, Epiphanies of House Demir. The following pages detail an advanced method of manipulating rift-spanning apertures as devised by Nuhashan, the ninth patriarch of House Demir. We present these research notes to the faculty of Charlotte's Studium as both a token of our friendship and expression of our balanced admiration. You appear to have located the forbidden one we seek. Your stroll will make the final confirmation. That's really... St <laughs> Man, they just wanted... They just wanted to be noticed and appreciated, and Charlie and said, no. Have, some, have something you'd like to show me, do you? My apologies, I flipped open but a single book and was completely absorbed by the contents. <laughs> Well done, Cell. I think you may have found our prize. Let's take a look, then. Very fancy book. Yes, the Ether signature is unmistakable. I've felt the traces of House Damia's resonance many times at the Great Work. So, she can read writing based on how people wrote it? That's really interesting. Time to see what all the fuss was about. So theoretically, she could determine the author of a book just by reading the pen strokes, I guess. Oh my goodness. Among the ranks of the Void Scent, okay. there exist entities with the power to call forth their brethren from beyond. The species known as Atomos, however, is uniquely prodigious in this regard. They made an artificial Atomos? From its distended maw, it can expel an endless procession of Void-born creatures. A talent which sorely tested the Radiant Host in its battles against these abominations. Stay. Surmising that the entity itself was acting as a void gate, we endeavored to capture a small specimen and subsequently examine its physiological structure. Our findings revealed that the Atomos had absorbed a planar fissure into its own flesh, which it could expand at will into a functioning gate. What the heck? Upon further analysis, we identified an ethereal wave pattern emitted during this process. A pattern we were able to emulate by passing crystal-stored ether through a specially designed prism. We proceeded to embed said prism into an arcane simulacrum, thus completing what we have dubbed our artificial atoms. Huh. How could I have been so blind to the possibilities? This species, not to mention its ability to summon Void Scent, has been discussed among academics for years now. Yeah, but we never would have considered making one. Just before the advent of the Seventh Umbral Calamity, we received reports of Atomos sightings from every corner of Eorzea. Surely you've at least heard the tales. Yeah, it was part of the whole send-off to 1.0. They just absolutely destroyed those encampments. Or at least provided a uh, sport for all the players to kill. And still, House Damir went and built a mock Atomus of their very own. I'm not surprised the Archons consigned their work to a restricted archive. 
was no easy task, but at last we've unearthed the volume we've been searching for. We can just take it? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't tempted to stay longer. See what other forbidden titles might be lurking on these shelves? Ah, but that would be abusing the very special privilege we've been granted now, wouldn't it? Better not. Unlocating the object of your search, please move along. Huh. Much as I would love to start crafting the automobiles, I'm afraid this is far outside my area field of expertise. Fortunately, we have a Hanish alchemist who would be delighted to involve herself in our house Demir project. Our business here is concluded for the moment. Please pass on our regards to the four. Your message will be conveyed. Should you wish to indulge in more forbidden literature, I will be here. Patron mode disabled. Security mode engaged. Anyone can help us. Nadonna can. I say we return to Thavener and look for her at the Great Work. 